My name is Daniel Mavodu, a small scale cotton farmer and a farmer reader. I am the chairman of SOBIFAC. SOBIFAC is a sort of form for Society for Biotechnology Farming of Kenya, which advocates for incorporation of modern agricultural biotechnology into Kenya's agricultural system with a name of increasing production and protecting farmers' yields. I have farmers and farmer readers across 24 cotton growing counties in the Republic of Kenya and farmers and farmer leaders in the growing other staple food crops like maize, bananas, fruits like avocados in the rest of the counties. How would you like for scientists to engage with farmers in terms of communication and how that that communication should be given to them. The first question is, what sort of communication or information do you need from scientists? Uh, the sort of communication I would need from scientists is simplifying language. That should be the first and interpretation of some some terms that scientists use when communicating the plant science. What do you mean by simplifying the language? Uh, simplifying the language, you talk with the local dialect because most of the farmers are not learned or you find an interpreter to interpret some of the some of the hard terms so that the farmer can understand who is on the ground level okay now for the for the example of kenya what what language would you recommend nationwide and here where we are in kirinyaga which is the local language the local language here in kirinyaga is kikuyu but i would recommend kiswahiri because most of the people can understand Swahili mixed with English because some of the farmers are learning. Okay. So simplifying language, getting an interpreter, and now let us talk about the platforms of communication. How would you want this information the best way possible to be passed on to you? The best way possible for the information to be passed it the farmers is through seminars, workshops, that is where the scientists can come and, and lecture to the farmers who, who has little knowledge about the agriculture and biotechnology. Yes, the other ways of communication, we know seeing is believing. The farmers should be, should be enabled to visit uh, research, research stations all where the plant has been planted and it is doing well. So tours can also teach farmers a lot after visiting the sites. What particular kind of information? You can give us like three examples of the information that you require from scientists. The information that uh, farmers require from the scientists, it is the truth of the matter because the farmer will be the implementer on the ground. Uh, the other information should reach the farmer before, should reach the farmer through, through creating of awareness before the, the crop is released to the farmers. The information that uh, farmers require from the scientists, it is the truth of the matter because the farmer will be the implementer on the ground. Uh, the other information should reach the farmer before, should reach the farmer through, through 
creating of awareness before the the crop is released to the farmers. So what do you mean by the truth of the matter? The truth of the matter I mean is like that one of BT cotton when we were told that the only insect that is prevented to attack cotton is cotton borrower and not the rest of the not the rest of the insects. That is the truth of the matter. Okay. So you want scientists to tell you what this new technology is going to do? What are the benefits? What particular pests and diseases it's targeting? Yes. The scientists, we need the scientists to tell us the effect, how this technology is going to help the farmers and the yielding because we need a crop with high yielding characteristics which is drought tolerant and uh, pest and diseases tolerant. We would also like the creation of awareness because you'll find that some people do rush with an and through information, they give myths about what is going to come. Like, they can tell you anything that grows big is a, a GMO. They can even tell you that when you open a, a papaya or a popo, you'll find a picture of person inside, which is untrue. So we need the information area to prevent these untrue stories. Thank you, Mr. Magondo. Thank you. You're fine.